Well, our local forecast is heat, humidity, and a few scattered afternoon storms, and it looks like that'll be the case through most of this week, but I know it's probably grabbing your attention is the two areas that we're talking about out in the tropics. One, not a defined system at all anymore. Fred really weakened yesterday and last night, fell apart. It's really just classified now as the remnants of a tropical system, but we're thinking it probably will be able to strengthen a little bit and maybe reform in the next day or so in the eastern gulf. So we'll talk about that in a second, but it is a messy low pressure area at this point. And then we also have tropical storm Grace, which is speeding along going really fast here just now approaching the extreme far end of the Caribbean Sea, and we're going to be tracking that one too. But both of these, including the tropical storm, are very messy. The tropical storm, as I mentioned, has no real tight circulation in the lower levels. So both of these, a little bit uncertain. Notice that tropical models, as we've talked about, and we always mention this, with messy, undeveloped systems tend to be a lot looser and a lot less predictable. So the remnants of Fred right now, you can see the center is classified as right Right here. It's put right here at this point, but look where all the rain is. It's really located far to the east, and we're just now starting to see in the past few hours kind of a band here forming up with some heavy rain off the Florida coast. So we are watching Fred, but at this point, it looks like potentially the center will still have to form up somewhere. We're not quite sure where, and it could be farther east of where it's being put right now. So interesting to note that still, even if Fred did take this more westerly path that has shifted a little to the west, notice that puts it along the Alabama Mississippi state line sometime late Monday. So we have a little time to watch it and see how much it's able to develop and strengthen if it does. But note that this would be the more active and rainier side of the storm. So again, something to watch. We'll have to maybe think about some gusty winds perhaps for the Mississippi coast on Monday. Maybe some rain, but again, the heavy rain would be off to the east side of the system. So we'll have to kind of wait and see where the center forms on that one. Tropical Storm Grace, and by the way, for the Louisiana coast, it looks like it'll probably end up being too far east to see any big impacts. But again, we'll be watching. Tropical Storm Grace, look at the winds, 40 miles per hour. So this is just barely staying together as a messy tropical storm moving west at 26 miles per hour. That's really fast, but the center may have kind of jumped ahead of some of the higher cloud tops that you see there. And so when there's no low level circulation, as I said, or no really tight center for the models to pick up on, no surprise that this path will probably go somewhere in the direction of Fred, but there's still a lot of uncertainty. So if it does hug and move over these islands in Hispaniola, unfortunately right over Haiti with the earthquake effects there, perhaps we'll have to see whether it's a little farther north or south. But if it does take this path and over Cuba, that would keep it on the weaker side. Now notice that the 10 day computer forecast models they're kind of all over the place for grace, and that's no surprise because again, it's not really well formed yet. Uh, last week, a couple of models were just kind of making it cross uh, the Gulf all the way to the other side, so we're not exactly sure what's going to happen with it, but it is just now arriving at the Caribbean Sea, so we have some time to watch it and kind of see how it develops. Interesting to note, though, as far as heavy rain goes, this is for the next seven days. Even assuming Fred takes that track a little closer to Mississippi or Louisiana, it still places all the rain over here over the Florida Panhandle. And again, we'll see if this shifts farther to the east when it tries to reform in the eastern Gulf in the next day or so. So for us, that puts most of our viewing area and our whole viewing area at the more standard one to two or so inches of rain. We'll have to watch for the standard afternoon downpour that may cause a little bit of street flooding and so forth. But at this point, it kind of looks like most of the effects would be to the east. So two things to watch and a lot of uncertainty with both of them. And even though Fred's closer to us, again, it's just a messy low right now. So we'll watch it. We'll keep you updated. That's how it's looking right now.